Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 11th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at amazing images of our sun for the past two days. Big plasma filament dancing around the surface in the southern hemisphere. As well, multiple M-class solar flares just recently from sunspot regions cresting into view. Having a look at these sunspot regions now. This is a look at the last two days incoming. This morning I noted in the sun short, the plasma tornadoes. You could see them spinning here on the left-hand side. Amongst the active sunspot regions turning into view. Looking at outgoing here. There is also one of the M-class solar flares coming from the southern sunspot region turning away. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well showing the magnetic field of the coronal hole. During the coronal hole event. And right now we do have earth facing coronal hole and another one building in behind just ahead of those solar plasma tornadoes. Amazing to see those things dancing around. They're standing about eight earths tall. Having a look here, 171 angstroms, just amazing images mixed with daily events worldwide. Solar Dynamics Observatory bringing in the safest and best way to see our sun today. Thank you so much for tuning in, pressing play, staying aware and prepared. This is a look at our sunspot regions in motion. As it is getting pretty fluid, cresting into view around those plasma filaments and new sunspot regions. Stay tuned here to daily events. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected. Degradation to high frequency radios. Solar winds are coming in right now, 411 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing here three solar flares, one of them being a minor M-class and two C-class. Solar proton flux rising a little in the last few hours. Space Weather Prediction Center showing here the space weather spiral. Most recent event and as well coronal hole. No new CMEs taking off towards Earth. We have been unscathed so far. Tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow's. A little bit better tomorrow. And then showing Alaska 2 here, showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energies leaving our sun. As this particular image is missing most of today. But here is today's image. Showing a small minor CME taking off towards the North Polar region. Other than that, no new solar events. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as we are on the anniversary of the large and most devastating earthquake on the planet. March 11th, 2011. Large earthquake, Japan. Having a look now at the last 24 hours around the world. Pretty deep earthquakes there in Fiji and as well Brazil, Argentina, 527 kilometer depth. But look at this Brazil earthquake, 640 kilometer depth. I've never reported an earthquake that deep. 5.6 and a very peculiar region for Peru, northern Peru, western Caribbean Sea as well, reporting a 5.4 5.3 earthquake here, Portugal, east of La Palma, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. 5.0 magnitude earthquake there, Ascension Island, 4.6. I believe that's Iraq. And as well, notable aftershocks, Svalbard, Jan Mayen, 4.1 today. And look at our very quiet West Pacific Plate. Band of Sea being the hotspot, and as well, Japan, the Bonin Islands region, submarine volcanoes. Quiet through Alaska, United States as well, no major notable or swarms to talk about. But then we get to Hawaii, as we've seen some increased seismicity today. Pahala, Hawaii 3.4, and Paka, 
or Paco, Hawaii, 3.4. And guess what? Kilauea has erupted yet again. This is now the 12th eruption since December 23rd, 2024. Seems to happen about every three or four days. And just before the eruption, you start to see the earthquakes pile up yet again. And look at this most recent lava flow onto the top of the summit caldera of Kilauea Volcano. As magma has yet intruded again through two active cones in the northern region of the summit. Please share this video with your friends and family, especially if they're living in Hawaii. Air quality is getting pretty bad. Carrying on here with earthquakes, that was a look at the last 24 hours. Elevated rings showing the depth of the earthquakes, and we've seen a lot of deep earthquakes the past week. Showing here the last seven days for shakers and movers. Really strange earthquakes. Brazil and South America, very deep. And our largest earthquake being the 6.5 north of Iceland. And again, way too quiet, a West Pacific ring of fire. Heads up, you live in an earthquake prone zone. Be ready, have a plan, stay aware and prepared. Something's brewing. Very deep earthquake, 640 kilometer depth, Peru. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast. This is showing the sulfur dioxide emissions forecast. Brought to you by Windy and as well the active and erupting volcanoes around the world. We will be giving a detailed volcanic activity report this week. So stay tuned to daily events worldwide. And make sure you are receiving all notifications so that you don't miss an update. Looking around the rest of the world, no new notable SO2 plumes to note out or point out. Not since yesterday's eruptions at Kamchatka, Eastern Russia, volcanoes. Nasty air quality all across North America and most of the Northern Hemisphere for that matter. Now let's have a look at world weather here as we've got multiple systems heading into the west coast. Very rainy week and then watch for this low eventually to get through. Get stuck onto the high and then watch for a deluge of rain. And possible flash flooding all along the eastern seaboard of the United States and the Atlantic provinces. And we could still see some snowy systems here through Canada. As low pressure systems are still going north over the Rockies. Crashing down around the Hudson Bay. Long range forecast could see a doozy of a storm building north of Florida. Stay tuned as these forecasts do change and can change quickly. Overlooking Africa, Australia and Southeast Asia still have a cyclone affecting South Africa and then southern Madagascar. Heavy rains all week long and then watch for this strong low to develop south of South Africa, the long range and as well a cyclone for Northwest Australia. I'm going to leave you here looking at the North Pacific as we've got multiple lows coming in this week and very strong systems. Watch for a lot of moisture to head down the California coast and as well crashing into BC. And then long range forecast, you're going to see even more rain as spring is springing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you're enjoying some nice weather out there. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now.